Today, the dog, myself, the grinder, Chicago Electric welder, we are going to be fixing up this holy and not like the Pope wheelbarrow. So, let's get to it. Now step one for using a flux welder, or any welder, but specifically a low grade Harbor Freight welder, is preparation, cleaning, getting that metal bare of rust and paint. So we're going to be using our grinder, we're going to take that down, we're going to get smooth rust free surface to put that 16 gauge sheet metal back on, cover those holes so we'll have a nice watertight seal, and we can start mixing concrete, cement, moving dirt. Whatever you do with a wheelbarrow. Now that we have the metal prepared, it's time to decide whether or not we're going to fill the gap simply with the welding, which when you have maybe stick welding, take MIG, it's a little bit easier than simple flux core and simple is in the derogatory version of simple and we will be going with the filling it with metal option now i've taken the measurements this is 16 gauge a bit overkill as it's probably made of 20 gauge the uh, wheelbarrow itself now the 16 gauge is from a previous project so we're going to be using scrap cheap that's the way to do things you don't need to go buy fancy nice metal just use what you can find in the woods Now that we have our pieces cut out, most of the wheelbarrow is not a flat surface, so we're going to have to kind of bend it, curve it to that. Now you could get, you know, a bead roller that costs thousands of dollars, or you could get a big fucking hammer. Perfect! Now that we have our piece cut and bent to shape, it's a little challenging for some things, such as a rusty old uh, wheelbarrow, whatever this is. Uh, trying to find a clean mounting surface for your neutral. So one thing I like to do to hold it in place is to use my neutral mount to press it onto, you know, the thingy. That's just a cheap little hack I like to do. Now, we've got it done. We've got the welder set to the right gauges. This is a thinner gauge on the bottom and a thicker gauge on the top. So I'm going to concentrate my weld on the thicker gauge of the plate we're welding onto it. For safety, I've got a bucket of water and as always, got them hose on deck for safety. Now, let's get welded. Whew, this is tough. You know what I need? Modelo Especial. El Cerveza for our hombres a la fin. Thank you for sponsoring today's video, Madalo Especial, El Cerveza de la Mundo. Now, pro and con of the Chicago Electric 110 volt uh, flux core welder, pro, it is very cheap. It is a great way to get into welding, to break into that market. I think all in all, between the helmet, the gloves, everything, and a couple reels of flux core, I think I spent 150 bucks on it. But here's the thing. The best you can do is grinder and paint makes you weld that you ain't. Just because you have the best practice, you're still going to be putting boogers down. And I was blowing through the 10 gauge, or sorry, I was blowing through the 20 gauge uh, sheet metal that is the wheelbarrow because the 16 gauge plate that I did here is way too thick, burns right through. Up here, I just decided to minimum heat, weld a bunch of boogers onto there, and we'll grind them flat just to seal it off so water won't go through. There's pros and cons of these things. I really recommend it if you've never welded. You've got a couple small little projects to work on. But if you're trying to make some stuff pretty, you're going to make some stuff you want people to look at, you're going to want to spend a little bit more money. Now, with our welding all done, we're going to take that grinder and do our best to smooth everything out. And after that first smoothing, you might want to go back with your welder and fill in the gaps you find, especially if you're using that flux welder. Now, that's probably what I'm going to have to end up doing. 
but we're going to do that not just so it looks better but you know this is a this is a wheelbarrow so we're going to be you know using it to mix cement pour dirt and stuff so you want to be able to drag something along the bottom of it without it catching you know too often obviously there are bolts and nuts that attach the wheelbarrow to the skeleton so there's already stuff there but they're rounded over they're smooth so you don't want to just have a big bulbous thing of weld blocking your way so let's rough that out first now when you've properly polished your turds or I'm sorry your welds the proper thing to do is cover it with a little bit of paint so we're gonna polish these off with a nice coat of you know flex seal bed liner and put this thing to work we've got our wheelbarrow finished up we've got our plate over the big hole we've got our little holes filled with weld we've got it grind sanded and painted over I'd like to thank our sponsor El Cerveza de Mundo muy delicioso now it's time to get back to work